What's up everyone? Today I'm going to take you through 12 cool project ideas that you can use to boost your developer portfolio in your job hunt. Okay, let's start with some of the easier projects first. So the first project is a classic one. It is a game of hangman. Now I hope you are all familiar with it. If not, I will quickly take you through what the game entails. So it starts with a post here and you have some sort of unknown secret word. So the underscores in the bottom here indicate how many characters there are in the words and the game is you guess a character. So let's say T and if you if it's not included in the secret word you start drawing a person. Now you guess say an H and it's included and you keep playing this game until either you have a full person hanging from the post or you correctly guess the word hangman. This game is quite simple and straightforward. As a front end project, you can make it into a one player game. You can use an array that has a database of words that you could pull in for the game or much better would be if you used an API that you could query to get a randomly generated word for you would be much better for your portfolio. If you wanted to make this into a full stack project, you could as well. The best way would be to make it a multiplayer or two player online game that you could play with someone. That would be quite cool and fun. So this is the first project. So moving on to the second project is called Translate Me. So 100 useful traveling phrases. So I'm sure that many of you travel or you have gone to a foreign country where you don't speak the language. So this is essentially an app where you just learn 100 useful phrases when you're abroad that you can say. So an example, maybe you make it into a flashcard game or a memory game, whatever, some sort of a nice UI where you're trying to help the user learn the sentences. So maybe one sentence that you deem that is absolutely necessary to know is where is the bus stop? And in Spanish, it would be donde esta la parada de autobús? And there you go, you have one. So come up with 101 of these sentences. So that would be a nice little project to build. Moving on to the third project is speech to tweet. So exactly as it sounds, you would have an app that records the audio. So say your microphone from your laptop, whatever you say, it would be converted into text and then it would automatically get uploaded to your Twitter account and posted as a tweet. So this is a bit of a spin off from uh, finding a quote and then sending it to your Twitter account that you can post it. So this would be a nice little project to include in your portfolio. Going to the fourth project is a journaling app. So many people who are successful have journals and they journal almost daily or they try to at least several times a week. I've personally done this and I've been using Google Docs or you can use um, Microsoft Word, whatever is your preference, which is a great way to just write, write and write. But one of the negatives is you can't really categorize your work, so you can't take it. For example, you can't take it with say successes or failures lessons learned or let's say you're learning how to program and you just have programming concepts or things that you've learned along your journey rants whatever goals um, that you could take and then you write your little journal entry blah 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 and then you can highlight by tag so successes and you would have all of your successes there posted the dates are automatically generated this would be really nice because then you can scroll through and read and see how how much you've progressed especially if you're learning programming so it'd be nice if you had a journal entry on your first day it might be like oh my god I can't program I don't know what I'm doing and then maybe in 180 days you're out oh, I built this web app all by myself this is awesome so having that kind of progress written down is really good for you as well as just to see how, how much you've grown and developed 
over time. Of course, if it's fully searchable, it would be ideal. So if you're looking for something that you specifically wrote, there's a search bar. If you wanted to make this more complicated, you could include revision history. So you have your original journal entry, and then if you wanted any changes you make, could be highlighted so you could turn it on or off like where you highlight the changes and revision history so you could go back to your original your next revised version and so on and so forth so those are all sorts of little add-ons or extra features that you could put in your projects and they would be that much better so moving on to the fifth project is a top collections app. This is an idea I think many people have or browse on websites and they have bookmarks. Maybe you have 100, 200 or even 300 or more bookmarks and if you have an unorganized list it's just a complete mess and very difficult and challenging to find something. Some of you who are organized may have folders in your bookmarks where you classify things by some sort of name and then you store information in there and that, you know that that's much much better and much easier to find stuff but I think it would be nice if you had a web app that had a visual representation because sometimes there are things that you can't bookmark so let's say a book name for example that's where have just using browser bookmark functionality is maybe not so good. So this would be a place where you store your best resources, best collections, and you would have, say, your books, maybe articles, YouTube um, content that you've consumed, and you can sort it by, let's say, maybe YouTube channel name or for articles. You could go programming, um, recipes, whatever, books, business, investing, pleasure, coding, example, whatever. And then you go within there and you have your whatever links to say the articles. Maybe you have some notes on the side or some summary. It could be, yeah, with books. Again, same thing, just books that you recommend. Maybe some if you're struggling with a certain topic or whatever, then you have some notes that you can find in search. You can add to this and just have everything in one place that would be a really cool project in my opinion all right so moving on to some of the medium challenge projects now some of these you could probably put in the easier category but I think there might be a little bit more research involved so I decided I would just put them in the medium category and the sixth project ID, our first one in the medium challenge, is a group traveling cost calculator. Now, I've gone on trips with friends before, and we've typically just created an Excel spreadsheet. We split it up who pays what for accommodation, food, fun, blah, 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 and it usually ends up being one or two friends pay for the bulk or the majority of the trip. Everyone else just owes a whole bunch of money to the one or two friends. That works quite well, really good, but if you wanted to make it even better, it would be cool if you had a web app that had some friendly UI UX experience that you can fill out all your friends' names, when they stayed, when they joined or left, uh, the accommodation, maybe you're staying in different accommodation places, uh, how you split up the food, fun, activities, whatever, fuel, etc. Anything that involves um, cost and that, that will be shared, you fill it out and then it's this sort of table just gets automatically or dynamically shown on your web app. From there, you can do something like export it to a PDF so you could print it out and send it to your friends. Would be really cool if you made your web app to be able to automatically email each friend and say, hey, you owe this much money from your trip. Here is the payment instructions. Please pay this amount to this person. And then, of course, you attach the chart here or the table that shows the breakdown of all the costs so they can go through it. 
that would be a, a really nice feature and it would make it a little bit more friendlier or advanced than just using Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. So the next project, the seventh one, would be remove that stain. So a web app that essentially helps you to remove a stain. So I think all of us have had an issue where we've had a shirt or some pants, you've accidentally spilt something on it, and then how do you go about removing it? There's so much information, so many sources online with what to do, how to do it, so, but there is no one, say, I, I, at least I didn't find one good place or one app that basically tells you how to do it, so you might ask questions like, okay, what is the stain from? Is it from grass? Is it paint? Is it blood? Is it just sweat? Whatever. Um, the color of your clothes, are they light or are they dark? The stain size, is, does it cover the whole shirt or is it just a small little tiny dot? The material fabric, whatever other questions that maybe you deem necessary and then you would provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to remove the stain. Of course, you would give uh, proportion sizes. So if the stain's small, you would use something small. You can ask for if they want natural ways to remove the stain or if they want to use chemical products and then you could provide links to say videos or blog posts so this would be a nice little app um, a web app or you could even make it into a mobile app if you wanted that would be interesting and would be very helpful now the eighth project is a shareable travel itinerary i've been recently on a trip with a friend and we had planned everything we made an itinerary and I was talking about it with another friend and they had shown interest that they wanted to essentially do the same trip or if I could show them where exactly on the map that we went to and what we did so this is where I, I came up with this idea and I think it would be quite cool where okay you have maybe a world map or a country map or let's say a particular state or region within a country and you just put pins there to indicate the location and if you clicked on a pin it would tell you essentially an itinerary summary so let's say this would be day one of seven of your trip you would attach say photos that you took of the place or maybe from Google you put your accommodation options that you use and maybe whether you recommend them or you say don't go here because it was terrible or, or whatever, then you say the things to do. So you wrote down that you went hiking, that you went maybe swimming. Oh, there was a really nice spot over here, blah, blah, blah. So just sharing the stuff. And then let's say food and you say, okay, I ate here and here, the food was really good. Or, oh, I went here, but it was terrible. I would avoid. And then you can share this itinerary essentially with your friends and family so then they can see your trip and they can go and do the same trip on their own or at least get a, a good idea of what of what they want to do and maybe it would help save them time so this would be a, another really awesome project in my opinion and the ninth project is a floor plan generator so this was specifically for Airbnbs because if you've ever stayed in an Airbnb and you're going through Airbnb accommodation options, oftentimes photos are a bit deceiving or they're staged or you don't really understand the idea of the size of the apartment or the house that you're staying in and it can be a bit confusing, misleading. So it'd be cool if you had a uh, floor plan generator so an idea would be let's say you make a drag and drop web app so you let's say first build out the room so the bedroom bathroom kitchen living room drag and drop there and then you go deeper so you put in the doors you put in the furniture like desk bed blah 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 or maybe the solution is you first just draw the outline in say on a canvas of the apartment or house and then you add in the internal walls you add the doors and then finally you add the furniture so like 
the bed, desk, blah, blah, blah. This would be cool. And then at the end, you export this to, let's say, uh, some sort of image that the an Airbnb host can upload into their images. So then it's nice and, and you can see exactly the size of the apartment that you want to rent out. It provides, say, the d dimensions. And then it's very clear that, OK, this is the size. So you don't go to an Airbnb and then you're disappointed that, oh, it's a lot smaller or, oh, I was expecting it to look much different than it actually is. OK, so moving on to the harder project. So if you want a challenge or if you want to really impress some employer, then maybe you will want to try and attempt one of these projects. So the first one in this category or the 10th one overall is called Snap Dinner Ideas. So the idea behind this is let's say you have your phone and you want to cook dinner, but you're out of ideas or you want to try something new. And let's say you have these items, so a piece of cheese, an egg, and a chicken drumstick in your fridge. So you would snap an, a photo of these items and your web app would be able to identify what the items are in the photos. It would query some sort of meal database and it would come back with a bunch of meal or dinner ideas for you. It would provide, say, the match percentage depending on the items that you have that you want to make up the core of the meal. And then it would provide some photos of the meal. It would give the recipe, uh, the instructions, the ingredients, etc. And you would have a list and a bunch of ideas that you could then make for dinner based on the core ingredients that you want in your meal. So this would be, I think, a pretty challenging project, but it would also be super fun and helpful to build. Now the 11th project is a color change detector. So this came from work. Oftentimes when you are working as a front end developer or engineer, um, you may have a website, so your original website, and then you go and make some modifications and let's say it's to CSS or styling. And if you're using CSS variables and they're all over your site, it can be, it can lead to sometimes having unwanted color changes that are kind of difficult to identify because you might be looking specifically only in one portion of the, of the site, but in reality, it ends up being modified elsewhere, somewhere completely different. So the idea behind this is you would have some sort of web app, maybe within the web app, you open up a browser that would be the original version of the site and then a modified version, or maybe you end up just taking um, screenshots of, of the entire page or I'm not sure how exactly you would do it or what would be the best approach to doing this but it would be really cool that you run between your original and then the modified branch that you have changed and then it would identify everything that gets changed so here you see that the add to cart text changes from white to a gray and you, it, you would be able to review this and say, yes, I made those changes. Or if it was the case that you didn't make the changes, you would say, oh, no, OK. And then you can fix the issue before it gets pushed into production. And the 12th and final project is an auto test coverage generator. So what is this? So again, let's say you have a website and you have a button, let's say it's an add to cart button, you click on that and you get a pop up that, OK, the item was successfully added to your cart. So when you are developing, usually, I mean, unless you're doing test driven development, you will start up your server, you will look at the code that you implemented and check manually that it's actually working as you had programmed and everything is okay 
would be cool would be if you when you're doing that manual check that you can somehow record your screen and from there would be able to get your test coverage so let's say in react testing library the code would be written and you would maybe just have to fill up the describe text and the int text within the quotes and that would be it so that would be awesome that would help save so much time even if it's just basic um, features that would just you know you click something and then the test coverage gets gets um, <clears throat> written or handled again I'm not really sure how you would go about the solution uh, as you would have to think about it and who knows maybe you're you know basing this just on the HTML code or whether you're recording something and identifying what happens or you need to introduce some sort of tracking and then once you track everything then you figure out what what happened and from there you write the tests I don't know but this would be an amazing feature if you were able to build this successfully and it worked it would save a lot of time because you just do the manual check and as you're doing the manual check it's also writes the test coverage for you which is would be amazing all right so those were the 12 project ideas and I've summarized them on this slide for you again if you like any of the project ideas, please hit that like button. If you do end up building one of these projects, please drop a link to it in the comments below. I would love to see them and see what you came up with. And most importantly, if you do build one of these projects, have fun 